Starbucks is my life, it's my life. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, today's makeup is inspired by Jesse J's new music video in Flashlight, which is coming out in the Pitch Perfect movie soundtrack and the movie. And I'm super excited to go see the movie because Pitch Perfect is like my life. And when I saw Jesse J, I I was like, oh my god, it's another song. And then I clicked on it and then I fell in love with the song and then her makeup um, was gorgeous. She has two makeup in the video, she has like a light natural makeup with the wing eyeliner, and then the second one, which is more nighttime, smoky, like all this right here. So that's what I chose to do for you guys, and thank you to Elisa for suggesting this for me. I absolutely love the makeup of it, and it's a little bit, more, it's a little bit more dark and mysterious and in your face in a way. So yeah, I really enjoyed this makeup, and if you guys want to see, get into the video. Okay guys, let's go ahead and start by moisturizing our face on a bare canvas. This is just going to help us out. I'm using a mattifying moisturizer. And then I'm going to use my NYX Angel Veil right on top just because I feel like it helps not let the oil come through to my foundation. Okay, so I'm going to apply tape under my eyes so it gives a nice sharp line for our eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to apply Glamouflage Concealer and I'm going to cover my eyebrows a little bit to lighten them up. And that's going to be our eyeshadow primer. After that, I'm just going to go ahead and use Great Lash Mascara just to go through the brows. Make sure they look really nice and feather and wispy in a way. And I'm going to put Airspun right on top just to set everything with an e.l.f. brush. And then I'm going to fill up my eyebrows with the Flawless Brow Trio, which is just a powder that I'm using, and just do it on both eyebrows. And then for the first color, I'm going to use the Anastasia Artist Palette and the color Dusty Rose. And I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to put that in the inner um, the crease. You want this color to be a gradient and we're going to build on the crease. So this is the first color we are going to put. And then using the Double Exposure Palette, I'm going to take the color Fig. And I'm just going to put that right on top and blend those two together. And I'm taking a Morphe M433 and I'm just going to blend those out and I'm taking the color Espresso. I'm going to deepen up everything and you want to put this a little bit lower than the other two just because you want the other colors to gradually look nice. Taking the color Aubergine from the Artist Palette, just going to deepen up the crease more. And then taking the color coal and black from the double exposure palette, just put that right underneath everything. And be sure to blend it all out. And then take the color coal from the Anastasia Artist palette and put that right on top and blend it into it. And just take a nice fluffy brush and blend everything together. And then just buff out all the edges because you don't want any um... I'm taking the Smashbox on the Box eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take that creamy color and I'm going to apply that as the base for the lid and then I'm going to apply the kind of peachy tone on that double exposure palette and that's going to put right on top to give me the finish that I want And then just blend those two together because you don't want any harshness on the eye. And then you can go back in and touch up if you'd like. But I'm just going to apply my wing liner with NYC liquid liner. And then just apply mascara and lashes off camera. And then I'm just going to take off my tape. And then I'm going to put the Fit Me foundation right on top. And using a Morphe J6 flat buffer brush to buff everything out. And 
And then I'm just going to apply the Dream Bloomy in the color Ivory, I believe. I know it's a little bit too light for me right now. Um, but I'm just going to apply that under my eyes, on my nose, forehead, and chin. And then just blend it out, blend it out with a beauty blender. And then to extra buff out those edges, just take the foundation brush and then just buff everything into nice perfection. And then I'm just actually going to cook or bake under my eyes and just so the concealer will set. And I'm going to move on to bronzer. I'm taking Max Give Me Sun and a cheek brush from Rope Techniques. I'm just going to bronze my skin. And then I'm just going to contour with Hula Bronzer and a Makeup Geek Rounded Blush Brush. And then just do your nose if you'd like, but I like to slow my nose because I have a big one. And then just cook under your contour. And then just take off the excess powder off your under eyes. And then I'm just going to take the Essence um, liner cold liner and i'm just going to connect my inner corner with the liner and i'm just going to kind of draw and put the liner over it and then just kind of connect it to the wing sort of you can see right here and then i'm just going to do the other eye and buff it out with the smudge brush i'm taking the color opportunity to smudge it out don't take black you can take black if you want and then to buff that out even more, I'm going to take my crease brush and I'm going to take Dusty Rose and the color Fig from the Smashbox palette and buff everything out. Okay, now I'm just going to blend it all my face together just so everything looks nice and blended. And then I'm just going to take the Too Faced Ross and Rachel thing and just put the blush on my cheeks. If you can hear the rain, it's raining. Just apply Mary Luminizer for that highlight because you don't want it to be too highlighty. And then just take NYX Peekaboo Lip Liner to first line your lips. And then take Essence Soft Berry and line the lips on top of it just to mix a little color. And then right on top you're going to take Touch of Spice by Maybelline and that's going to be the look. And that is how you can recreate the Jessie J or my inspiration for the Jessie J makeup and flashlight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out all my latest videos because I am obsessed with them. And if you haven't subscribed to me already, subscribe down below. Join the family. Join all this extra funness that's going to come up. And I just can't. I have so much things. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.